Uh, I'm, I'm doing the thermal science for many materials, typically for semiconductors and insulators, including silicon, germanium, uh, oxide, argon nitride, and so on. Thermal problem is very important for the electronic system, for the thermal management, and it's affecting the way we live, work, and communicate. So our, our work is to improve the thermal management and cool down the device so that to keep the temperature at the working temperature. So I was interested in um, making some materials that they can be useful for our life, and that uh, caused me to end up with polymer composites, which I could find in chemical engineering department. I, I work in electron microscopy. Um, honestly, it was the, the project I picked for my, my PhD, and I didn't really know what it was. Um, and I just happened to get into a new field, <coughs> uh, in situ electron microscopy, and, and we had some big papers that took off, and, and now I'm a, a professor at the University of Maryland in this field. So uh, it was kind of a, a congruence of uh, expertise and, and opportunity that, that led us this way. So I would say that I'm in ultra-fast spectroscopy of nanomaterials, um, specifically looking at semiconductor nanocrystals. Um, I'm definitely on the chemistry side of materials. I like to synthesize and then study those. I got started with nanoparticles, looking at metal nanoparticles in my undergraduate research, and I knew I wanted to stay on the nanoscale as small as possible. So now I still study nanoparticles, just in a slightly different way. I do computational material science in the sense that I don't do any experiments, but instead we are trying to predict and understand properties of materials by doing computer simulations. Well, I'm, I'm not very good at doing experiments, <laughs> so I started doing computations. MRS TV has all the coverage you want with the big newsmakers. Be sure to check out our content, which is updated each day here on YouTube from the 2019 MRS Spring Meeting here in Phoenix.